Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can wrap text around a shape using Photopea. So I have done that effect here where I've wrapped some text around this pizza shape and I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to file open and I'm going to open a picture that I found that I thought looked pretty um, good to put some wrapped text around. So I found this on Pixabay. Okay, then the next thing you need to do if you're going to make this look really effective is you're going to need to put some sort of um, grid lines or lines on your page for your pen tool which is what we're going to use to follow. So I'm going to go to view rulers. Now my rulers are already visible which is why the tick but if yours aren't you need to make them visible. Then what you do is when you click on the ruler at the top if you click and drag it will pull down um, this line here that will allow you to create a grid that you can follow when you're drawing the shape that your text is going to fit inside. So I'm just going to drag from this side and I maybe might put it in there and then I'll do one more maybe there. So I've put that on and essentially what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to use it to help me make my line straight when I use the pen tool. Now I've mentioned the pen tool a few times, it's down the side here, there it is, pen and I'm going to select it and I'm going to start on that point of that intersection there. So I'm going to click, then I'm going to go over to this intersection point and I'm going to click on that point, then I'm going to go down to here, I'm going to click on that point, and then I'm going to go across here and I'm going to click there. Okay, then I'm just going to use a freehand sort of click movement. You know, the, the more you practice this, the better really to go around that pizza until I get to that line there. And then I'm finally going to finish off, and it's important this, you've got to select the original point to finish your shape. Now that I've created a shape with the pen tool, um, I'm now going to put some text in it. So I'm going to use the type tool, which is above the pen tool. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click inside the shape. Now, this is an important thing to note. If you start faffing about in between those two steps, if you start clicking on your layers or clicking elsewhere, you might deselect the shape. And it's important that your shape is selected when you click the type tool, when you then click inside the shape. So I'm clicking inside the shape. And before I start typing, I'm just going to make the type a little bit bigger. So I might make that 40. And because this background is dark, I'm going to change the color of the font to white. Okay. And you can also change the font style if you click in there, but you can do that later. You can always change those things later. Then at this point, you can start typing. And when you get down to here with your typing, it will then follow the shape. So I'm just going to go over to uh, getlorem.com to copy and paste some dummy text. So some lorem ipsum text. I'm going to press Control and C and copy that. I'm going to go back to Photopea just to show you what this looks like. If I press Control and V now uh, and just paste that dummy text on, you can see that the text follows that shape perfectly. And if I click off both of those things now, just click back on the background. Um, you can see that it's it's done a good job. Now these these lines are really just for show, so they will not appear when you print it out or when you save it as a JPEG or when you or when you save it as a different file type. But they are very important for you to get that really clear straight line when you're making your wrap text. And that's pretty much it. Have fun.